The Cayman, this is the hardtop cousin to the Boxster, but this is no ordinary Cayman. This one's 120 pounds lighter, about an inch lower, about 10 horsepower stronger than any other car that wears this badge. You're gonna break your butt getting into it and sweat it off once you do, and you're still gonna love it. Let's drive the 2012 Cayman R and check the deck. Okay, the first thing that tells you you're getting into a Cayman R is, oh God, that pain in your lower sacroiliac. This thing's got these racing seats that have these unforgiving bolsters on the side. It's a good indication this is not your normal everyday road going Porsche. From there, you start to notice right away how they've saved weight on this little guy. And that's tough to do on a car that's already small and light in its more pedestrian trim. But things like this, that's a door pull. There's no handle or even a nice little plastic cover to hide that screw head. This, that's a heater. There's no air conditioning. You can even get rid of the stereo and have two great big old empty gaping storage bins right there. Unless you option this thing up with Bose or the PCM navigation head unit, which I wouldn't do in this car, you're stuck with a real crappy sounding stereo system. But here's my real gripe on this head unit. It looks like hell. Grayscale, lousy typography. Now here's our standard, no extra charge, six-speed manual gearbox in this guy. But if you've got 3,700 more burning a hole in your pocket and you've got a lazy left leg, you can get the Porsche PDK. That's their dual-clutch automated manual. Super easy spotters tip to ID a Cayman R. Normally on a Boxster, for example, or most of the 911s now, you've got an electric wing back here that pops up under a motorized situation, but not on this guy. You've got a fixed, kind of a fast and furious deal here. Real ugly, but makes it easy to pick one of these out in a crowd. Now a Cayman, like a Boxster, is a mid-engine car. So front, back, doesn't matter what lid you lift, you're not gonna see any motor in this thing until you go under. And getting under is a trick, because this guy's almost an inch lower than a standard Cayman, which is not exactly a high rider. Oh, and check this out. It's not often you see a car where you jack up the back and the whole front comes up too. That's a stiff shell. Okay, this is a Porsche, of course, so we're looking at a flat six. 3.4 liter horizontally opposed engine, dry sump lubrication, hence you don't have some big crankcase hanging down. 330 horsepower, 273 foot pounds of torque. Gets this guy up to 60 in 4.7 seconds through the gearbox, which you can see sticking out the back here. Rear wheel drive only, but this isn't a dragster, it's a Canyon car. Let's go see. So again, 330 horsepower out of a 3.4 liter naturally aspirated engine, direct injection in this car and variable valve timing to the nth degree do wonders to have it always on cam. But the real reason you buy a Cayman is because it's mid-engine and because you're on a road like this, where it feels like God stuck a spike through the thing right back behind me and everything turns right on that axis. But this car isn't so overwhelming that you can't drive it at even 50% of its limit. You can even ring 70% out of it when you're on a nice road. And that's the kind of car I like, as you probably know by now. Not some car with 500 horsepower and turbos and crazy spiky power that isn't about the real world. Here's a car you can really stretch your legs out in while it stretches its legs out on the pavement and does a real nice job of that. Very linear, very predictable. enjoy this Cayman R, but it's a car that I would buy simple and keep it simple. That means you're going to start around 67 grand and not go much higher. Yeah, you can load it up with ceramic brakes and Bose audio and nav and sport chrono and who knows how many interior tweaks, but that's going to push you perilously close to the base price of a 911 GTS. And that's a modern classic with, I think, substantially different investment value than this guy. Buy it light, keep it light manage that grin on your face. You'll be busy enough with that.